So I'm really thankful that Yvette Santa Cruz asked me to speak and be one of the speakers tonight. I thought about uh, really what, what we want to talk about, why we're here. Uh, everyone starts with a dream, so I, I really kind of landed on four things. What your vision is, uh, really our, our employees, what make us, our backbone, uh, our community, and then the daily grind, right? So your vision first, everyone, everyone here has started with a vision of what they wanted to bring. What we did is we started with the fact that there was not a lot of good food, not good food, I take that back. Um, not a lot of the food that I wanted, like fresh salads. We started Cafe Ella almost 10 years ago. We're making fresh organic salads there. We make a soup a day from scratch. And that right there was my vision, that I wanted to eat real food, and our logo was fresh food, tastes good. And that's really been our backbone. Even when we grew and we got bigger and we got actually our Hollister restaurant, we moved to Hollister, we were there for five years. We still kept our little cafe. Then we expanded now into Ella's at the airport. And that really has allowed us to expand that vision but what we've also been able to do is make more things. We go out, we meet with local organic farmers, we get to see their food, walk their land, get to taste their product. The fact that I got to pull kohlrabis out of the ground, which are these great alien looking uh, squash. And they were so very yummy and I got to taste those, roast them off, taste them, make a salad out of them, which was just bizarre. But there we go, there's my product. That's what, that's what the first thing is. Second, my employees. The fact that you find people that also have a passion and you invest in them. You know, you, they, they bring their spirit, they bring what they do well, they listen, they wanna learn. You, you don't hold back. A lot of chefs will say, you know what, I don't wanna teach you how to make that mole because I'm afraid that you're gonna take it and go do something else with it. That's not, that is not how we make this world around your place, yeah? We have to teach everyone. Because then you're, you're, guess what? You got taught, you know what I mean? You got taught. So we pass that on, teaching our employees how to cut fennel right, you know? If any one of you have ever worked with fennel, if you cut fennel any more than a quarter of an inch, it's gonna taste like a root. But if you cut it very beautifully, shave it, it, it imparts the most beautiful licorice flavor that you've ever had. And so those little details on teaching someone and then them turning around and doing that is, is what makes us well, do, do well. Uh, the next one, our community. Our community is really what makes us who we are. We are located in Watsonville, it is one of the most as you all know, just prolific. We're like in this gorgeous salad bowl. We are so blessed. And so we bring all of those products, as much of it as we can, we keep it as local as we can, uh, to, to really promote Watsonville. That's why we brought our business actually back from Hollister, because I, was, I didn't want to keep going there. I wanted to keep rooted in Watsonville. That's where we started. That's where we're keeping it. And so, that Watsonville is. And lastly, uh, the daily grind. And that's that entrepreneurial spirit that you guys have all gotten to experience tonight. Every single one of you guys are, are doing that daily grind. And you know what it takes to get something off the ground. When we first started Little Cafe Ella, the, I was just telling my assistant, Alana, that I didn't even sleep the night before. You know, you don't even sleep. When you're getting something off the ground, you're putting your 110% into it, and it doesn't matter. Sleep, sleep is secondary to getting your dream up and going. So I commend you all, every single one of you here. You've done an outstanding job.